the Nairobi Expressway is considered to be a hub of Kenya's modern road transport network and a vision of the government's Big Four agenda in implementing improved infrastructure. For months now, Switch TV has been following up on the 27-kilometer highway that starts from Lolongo and ends at James Gishuru Road. This is the situation of the road as of now. Take a look. This is the current state of the transport system in Kenya. Many commuters using major roads in the capital city, Nairobi, have endured devastating effects of traffic congestion characterized by a surge in the increase of number of motor vehicles. In a bid to solve this problem, the government of Kenya launched the construction of the JKIA James Kishuru Road Expressway project in 2019. I think the first thing to note is that the initial timeline for the expressway was for four years. So we could have finished uh, actually in 2024. But it's been reduced by half to, to make sure we complete by next year. The project consisted of a four-lane dual carriageway with nine interchanges, including the SGR terminus at JKIA, Eastern Bypass, Southern Bypass and Enterprise Road. On this day, the 6th of August, the workers here at the workstation are doing all they can to ensure they beat the deadline set by the government. Our journey begins here around the Westlands Museum Hill area and we interact with engineers and contractors who are in charge of the project. They explain that the construction workers learn on a skills transfer basis and are trained on how the construction should work. Below me are traffic snarlaps that have affected the Nairobi city for years. I am currently standing at the workstation of the Nairobi Expressway in the Museum Hill. According to the Kenya National Highway Authority, Kenha, the Nairobi Expressway has employed over 5,000 people where each individual is trained upon venture. Well, they, they have supported livelihood and most important also is that uh, the contractor, uh, because of COVID, he has actually put up residential places for all his workers. None of these workers you see go home. They all actually live in a, in a residential uh, place. Uh, which is a uh, well secured uh, with the, uh, with everything, water and uh, the housing, uh, and therefore uh, the, the the transmission of COVID is actually contained because they are all together. Along the southern bypass exists a power fabrication site where materials are generated. It is here where pillars, beams, and other material are created to suit the specifications needed. After we are through with the structures, there are many things to do. For example, we shall have uh, in the interchanges, we shall have uh, boots, uh, tall boots, we shall also have the communications, we shall also have uh, auxiliaries. So all that work, including testing on how people will be able to pay, that will take us about three months. So by April, uh, we should be able to open uh, the road to, to traffic. With the completion of the multi-billion shillings project, it will take between 15 and 20 minutes to cover the 27-kilometer stretch, which starts from African Inland Church, Mlolongo, all the way to James Kishuru on Waiyaki Way. Interesting benefits about Nairobi Expressway. Nairobians probably need to recognize that the biggest culprit for the traffic jams that we have is actually Uhuru Highway. Yes. Yeah, because Uhuru Highway is actually a span you know, is the spine of the city of Nairobi. So driving from the western part of Nairobi, Westlands and Hallingham and the likes, whatever you do will be influenced by traffic ahead of you that is touching Uru Highway. Yeah. And as we come from the east, it's the same thing. From um, uh, Westlands, it's the same highway and Mombasa. So if we resolve the traffic congestion. China Road and Bridge Corporation, CRBC, is set to pocket 106.8 billion as profit for the 27 years. After 27 years, CRBC will hand over the project to the government. We've been very sensitive uh, actually when we discussed this matter with the contractor, uh, who is also the investor. We discussed and um, sensitized them on the need to make sure that the road, although it's a commercial investment, to make sure it's affordable.
In a country that is rapidly trying to reduce road congestion, the Nairobi Expressway, that is 27 kilometers, might be the only hope. Rachel Ndwati, Switch TV.